hello and welcome again to AA Home Gardening. Give you a quick allotment tour. Today is the 23rd of May. This is the allotment tour for May. As you know, May, well, as you probably can hear in the background, wind and rain, that's all we have. But I'm going to show you, I have loads of currants here. So I have red currant and black currant. And you can see them looking nice, ready to change color and everything. So at least I'll be getting some current if I don't get anything this year. Because the weather haven't been lovely. So some of the things that should have been planted out already. I still have them inside the polytunnel because the weather is just weird this year so these are my lovely currants so red and black current i'm inside a polytunnel now so this tour gonna be the tour of the allotment and also harvesting some things on the allotment so these garlic were planted from late october so you can see they're drying off they're falling off they're in the polytunnel so i'm gonna harvest these and make ways for me to plant some more things so remember garlic normally roughly need about eight months but these have been in the ground almost seven months and i can see they're falling over they're drying off so let's see what's under there so it's a bit early for garlic but these ones for some reason they're falling over early so let's see what's there not bad, not bad. I can rest it here. And then let's see what the others have. So guys, they say if you planted your garlic from last autumn, not bad at all. So not bad garlic harvest. Today is the, oh, what date is today? 23rd. So it's quite early. But we're getting harvest so that's good so you can see they are falling over they won't grow anymore so might as well i just take them up make space for something else and you know the weather here haven't been lovely so they haven't got a lot of sunshine to help it so hopefully they'll be nice and strong just the same these were in the polytunnel the one outside they're still standing up so i won't harvest those until probably the end of next month there about depending because the weather haven't been lovely so i have some nice garlic there going on and this wasn't the loosest soil wasn't the nicest condition but i'm getting our garlic so have any of you harvest your garlic early did you get nice harvest with our weird weather that we've been having recently please do let me know i love garlic so much i use garlic and onion in almost everything so i can never have enough garlic this is not even one tenth of the amount of garlic I have. So I, when I was planting these, I planted these with the idea that until next year, this time when I'm harvesting again, I don't need to go to the shop to buy any garlic. Any garlic or onion, I don't plan to go to the shop and buy any. So that's the idea of planting so many. So I don't have to go to the shop to buy any more. Okay. So let's see what else over here these are all tangled up all over so if i can find some more i'm just gonna tie them up and leave them in the polytunnel here to harden off so this is the first lot of our um garlic i'll be eating or using in my cooking and then now when i plant them from autumn by the time you're ready for your space to plant your spring slash summer crop it create more space for you to work with that one doesn't want to come out and garlic tend to grow quite well so it's quite okay so you're not a bad garlic for that small small space right here and now i have a nice small space to put all the crop so i'm happy with my first couple of harvest this was just I wasn't even planning to put in garlic here. It's just that in autumn, I was looking at all the space here and I was like, what can I put there until I'm ready to plant the main crop? Garlic came to mind and I put garlic in. And it's a good thing I did 
because now I'm having a nice garlic harvest of garlic. So we're gonna see what else we can harvest from the allotment today. So that's my oopsie. That's my garlic harvest. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Some of these are literally good size are garlic. So these weren't going to grow anymore. They're all drying, falling over. So that's my first garlic harvest for 2021. See some crochets. Um, zucchini is going to flower there. Or just topping up some dirt. So you can see some zucchinis. You can see some peppers. Having little peppers on as well. These had a lot of aphids earlier. So probably not looking the best, but they're recovering. You can see little peppers on them. So a few pepper plants here. Had some more tomatoes, some garlic, extra garlics that I need to um harvest as well. I just then I have my lovely tomatoes from seed going on nicely. For I can hear the wind. And the rain outside that's all we've been getting in the UK since May started just rain 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 and guys I can tell you having this polytunnel or greenhouse or some covering make a massive difference in this weather because most of these things if they were outside they wouldn't have reached so far because the consistent rain and wind definitely doesn't help then I have my chayati right there, or my chocho. Uh, when I planted it out, we had some cold nights. They got a bit damaged, but now it's coming on beautifully. Then I have my potato in pot there coming on. I started um, transplanting some extra seedling earlier. And I just decided to do the video of the tour of the allotments. So I have some extra tomatoes. I have a squash there. And I have some extra okra so that just planted out as well and I have another chaya tea going on here then I make a makeshift trellis for my cucumbers then I have peppers still to plant out peppers in the ground and potatoes and potatoes so the polytunnel is coming on just tidying it up planting it out but I'm so glad I have it because it does make a massive difference then I'm gonna take it outside now this is the corn bed so sweet corn so I planted all these going two weeks now as you know the weather haven't been totally lovely so they're a bit struggling but I think they'll survive nice weather is promised to have two weeks of warm weather soon hopefully so we just have cockle sweet corn right here coming up then I have some red cabbage in this bed so I have the red cabbage here as well so this bed is just cabbage and sweet corn at the moment right here and you can see corn in between then I have some fennel nice fennel coming on lovely here and I like to use a seed to make fennel tea and things like that then I have some more uh, red cabbages were planted out like a week and a half before those so they are a little bit more sturdy and plummy and looking quite beautiful so that's my red cabbage I love red cabbage and they just make everything just nice and bright colors and you can see these weed they're just being up in the middle of everything so with the ex with the extra rain and everything getting a lot of weed popping up then we have my celery coming up and spreading up nicely so hopefully I will get a nice good harvest and these are my leek that I planted from seed transplanted out some um, just four days ago so that's my sweet corn cabbage and things like that making some more raised bed I have some little raised bed by the side I have other things in so the polytunnel is coming on the polytunnel the allotment is coming on nicely then this bed that's covered is all the nice brassicas that needs the protection from those butterfly and those moths so this bed that the netting is on is the brassicas that the the little butterfly those moths love 
but you can see something got inside and damaging one of those so i need to take off the netting examine them then recover them because something have got, got um, gotten there so all that is inside here is just some spruce sprout some kale that got a little damage from the late late frost we've been having but these will kick back in no time so i'm not really too worried about these then they're still in time to plant some more seeds then you also can continue planting our kale seeds so in your kale seal and then over here I have some sweet art cabbage. So that's what sweet art cabbage was on my mind. I like sweet art cabbage. So you can see they're folding up a bit now. So the sweet art cabbage is there. A couple of sweet art cabbage. So that's the netting. This is actually just a mosquito net I'm using because I find most of the bird netting and the garden netting they still have too much of a wild gap and like a tiny moth getting them. I don't want any moth in my things. So I'm using the best I can find. This row here is just potatoes. So you can see the potatoes coming up beautifully. They came up um, just before the frost was finished. They got a bit of frost bite, but you know, with potatoes, they literally just bounce right back. So I think I eel it up just a little bit more, probably by middle of June when these bust up nicely. So foliage everything looking good i would say potatoes coming on nicely still a lot of weeding to do you know as soon as the rain fall the weeds pop up their head so i have all of these bed of potatoes so that's the potato bed one entire bed here of potatoes and here's my lovely butter bean that i showed you previously all grown from seed they are coming on beautifully. All my butter beans are shooting up nicely. There we go. Nice, nice, nice butter bean coming up beautifully. So there's my butter bean. Some running up. Some coming up. Just different stages of butter bean going on here. Then over here, I have some red kidney beans that are coming up. So last year I did plant some kidney bean then my husband had a little accident in the garden with fire burn up the first lot so the second lot didn't get to go to full maturity so there's one that a pigeon or something pulled back up so then they get to go to full maturity so this year I'm going loads more there's a couple um, coming up there I need to cover those and you can see kidney beans all over so this year I do have a lot of beans being stored super well so i don't mind having the lots of beans then you know my beautiful beautiful broad bean they're all coming up beautifully look at my broad bean i'll go over the other side and show you some more broad bean coming up just beautifully i have loads and loads of broad bean soon ready to harvest look at that size there Yep, so ready to harvest. Nice and fat and juicy and no black flies in sight. I'll show you some of them over there. Then I also have my sweet peas that I need to go and trellis up nicely. Oh, so much to do at the apartment. You can see flowers coming on. They are ready to be trellised up. So much weeding to be done. So much things waiting on the rain to stop. Then I have some more sweet peas here. All ready to go trellising up you can see blossom coming on so that's the next step after transplanting most of the things in the polytunnel I will have to come out here sort out my sweet peas that are dying to have something to trellis on and then wow these were some other beans some got damaged there I can't quite remember the name of this one I put it in the description I can't remember the name of this one this one is like this stripy red kidney beans you know in Jamaica we had those pinkish stripy beans so I put a name in the description so that's some more of those then if you come over here you can get a better view of some of my super lovely broad bean going on here so I'll be doing a harvest of these very soon because there's so much broad bean then I have my elephant garlic going on here this is the second year wow it's bolting there that's not good I just take this off 
hopefully the energy concentrate there and I'm harvesting those soon. I harvest some of the garlic in the polytunnel already. Then you can see garlic coming on nicely here. So no, they'll be ready to harvest very soon. You can see the scape. You can harvest off these, put them in your salad. So anyway, you see they're going like that. You just harvest them, put them in your salad beautiful so this bed this was planted from october this is my garlic bed now we're in may so they're about seven months but they look as they're ready just like the ones i did in the polytunnel i harvest them earlier so i'll be harvesting these very soon because they look like they're ready this is a very untidy um onion bed that i need to come and sort us as well so that's my onion some onion there not looking too badly then i transplanted these charred from inside the polytunnel outside so they're not looking lovely but they soon perk back up then i also have some carrots scattering all around here so i have different stages of carrots i try to plant them every two three weeks so i can have loads of carrots and then i'm gonna harvest some of these beauties for you as well so you can see what's on there I've been harvesting some carrots from the allotment. These were planted from last autumn, so hopefully there's something under there because I don't want it to stay too long and get a bit woody. So I need to harvest and see what's under there. There should be some carrots. Let's see. Very tiny. Very tiny carrot, but you can see this one was getting a bit... Uh, Hopefully you can see this one was gonna be um, so nice carrot there. The tiny carrot is under there. Nothing big. I'll see if I can find a big one. This one was gonna be woody, so you can see there's a main stem in the middle. So I know that one not gonna be too good. So I'll look for another one and see what's under there. There's another little carrot, so it's carrot for us to go and munch on. So I'm going to take out some of these because I don't want them to stay too long and then they don't taste nice. So I'm going to dig out some of these ones. Not the biggest carrots, but I mean we're just going to munch on them, so that's okay. And I have loads more growing. I have loads more growing so after this harvest I'll be able to harvest loads more. So not bad. Some of them is not too bad. So there's carrots. Can I complain? They're not the biggest carrot but we can munch in these lovelies. So I'll probably do just about two more for today for us to munch in and then we just come and pick them as and when we need them so let's see if we can find one more carrot to harvest let's see so let's see what's in this lot wow this is not too bad actually see this one good enough size that one there and these ones as I said they were planted from last autumn so I don't want to leave it in too long for it to have that um, woody taste so my first time growing um, carrots in the ground I normally grow them in container so this is what I've dug up so far some of them is okay can i complain so that's my carrot harvest on the allotment on the 23rd of may rainy rainy may this is just scattering of spinach that need to be changed over and the rest of the bed need sorting out so i won't even go over there so on the allotment there's a lot of things going on so if i give you a tight so if i can give you a full view of what's going on so hopefully by next month 
it'd be filled to the brim and then you can see everything that's been planted out of the allotment so that's it with even with the bad weather we are having i was still able to get certain things planted at the allotment and growing on beautifully so until next time please remember to like share and subscribe and share this video and for the live show this thursday 7 p.m uk time so i put it in the description the live show will be 7 p.m uk time please spread the word and remember we'll be having live saxophone music so it's not a live session to be missed and they'll be giving i'm having loads of giveaway as well so remember tune in for the live show this thursday 7 p.m uk time thank you bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell